Uh, uh, uh. Are all of, do all of the panels get primed? Oh yeah, well repeatedly, yeah. Really? So yeah, this is what happens. You see it's bare metal now. Yeah. So they will scuff it, okay, with either a scotch Bright or 150. Usually we'll do a DA, we'll do 150. Okay. okay? Then we shoot, it's nice raw clean metal, we clean it, we hang it, we shoot it with epoxy primer. Okay, so that seals it. That keeps any weather from getting out. We let it dry for a couple days, or as long as possible. The longer you let it dry, the better it cooks, the better all the chemicals come out of it. There's no kind of reaction. Okay. Uh, it's gonna last longer. So then, once that's done, we scuff it again with 150, and we start doing body work. So we start applying filler. We will sand, so take, for instance, the hood. So we'll apply filler on the whole hood. We will start sanding the hood with one or with 80 grit, okay? We'll get the shape we want. We'll get, you know, we'll start detailing it, how we want it to fit, like the cowl, how we want it to blend into the A pillars, how we want all the lines to line up really nice. Because we changed uh, the angle of the grill a little bit to get it to sit exactly where we want, kept massaging it and the, massa the the side panels as well we add a little contour to them you know which a lot of people can't see that detail that takes yeah. forever well what that did was it changed the angle of how the hood sits onto the top of those panels okay and it affected that line so we had to go in cut take the braces out make some cuts make a couple little moves on how it sits which changed the front of the hood again where the it meets the grill so we had to do some cuts there again we had to re-weld it again so any tiny little change you do could could That's cause a disaster since we had to kind of modify the the hood a little bit you know with gappings and stuff like that i'm just trying to mock up and get it to work where when they pull the handle to open any side of the hood it's smooth it's not all rough you know mm -hmm. so it could be smooth transition to open either side, but it's kind of kind of having a tough time right now. It's kind of that's what I don't want. You know what I mean? I want more of this right here. So that's what I'm trying to figure out right now. I gotta modify stuff. Block sand it again. We will then prime it again. We will then block sand it again with 150. We will add filler wherever needed. We will continue to sand and detail sand with 150. That's when you start taping off your lines and you start making them really crisp. That's what right. Fuck, are you kidding me? What's happening? Right now it's, there's a hole in here, this pin, you know, as soon as you do this, you're supposed to be able to open either side of the hood, right? So let's say you pull on the passenger side, you could release, you'll release yeah. this and it'll yeah. open this side up. So right now there's a pin here that goes through this block into this hinge mount, I guess, and locks it. But right now it's like binding. You can see it. And that's what I don't want. I want this right here. Where it pulls and it's smooth like. So right now what I'm trying to figure out before I weld anything is to get them on point. You know, like if I got to shim it out a little bit or anything. So I can do that. Uh, we will prime it again with the high build primer. What is the difference four. between the high build primer and the epoxy primer? The high build primer is a sandable primer. Got it. Basically, it's a filler as well. So it, okay. it fills in any low imperfections. And then when you block it, it helps build up that area. So once that's done, we'll start block sanding it again with 150. Then we'll start checking for pinholes. We'll fill pinholes. That's when we take this little blower and we blow the hell out of everything. We blow all the dust out of the little pinholes. It lets us see all the pinholes. We start filling those little pinholes with some glazing putty. Sand them. Uh, 
And then on this one, because it's such a nice car and we want the paint so perfect, we'll prime it one more time. And then we start blocking it with 320. We'll block it with wow. 320. We'll we continue to re remove pinholes. We'll re continue to make the lines nice and sharp, make sure everything fits, everything blended well. All the door gaps are fine. The, the cow, the hood to cowl is, lines are fine. These lines where it meets the panel are fine or perfect. Uh, and then we will wet sand it once all that's done with 600 and hang the parts and it's now ready to paint. So then we wipe it down with prep ball with a tack cloth, clean the booth spotless, blow everything out. Usually probably on this car we'll repaint the inside of the booth all white, make sure all the lights are perfect, clean the glass off so we can see it perfectly. So you, <clears throat> part of the method of painting is actually preparing the paint booth. Part of it, the whole, the whole job is preparing. It's all, the prep work is the whole job. Ooh, what's up, bitch? That's what we want right there. So that one's ready to weld. What specifically are you welding? Just this aluminum bar right here right. to this hood support across. I got it. This piece of uh, yeah. aluminum here to this actual, I guess yeah. you'd call it hood hinge yeah. or whatever. Part of the hinge. Yeah, I'm welding it onto there. But I drilled and tapped it so I can mock it up and then I'm fill that hole up and then weld the top and cross. Yeah. On this car, we'll probably do four different coats of primer. How long would four you... different stages of primer? In generally speaking, how long will that process take? On a car like this, you're looking at you know over a month, month and a half, two months. Wow. Yeah, and that's just people on it all day long, every day. Imagine. And that's just I tell for people, painting. Imagine that's crazy. washing your car every day for eight hours a day for two months. Well, I could. Applying I, wax to it every day, wiping the wax off, buffing it, polishing it, by hand washing it every day for eight to 10 hours a day for two months. Try that. My car would still be dirty. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> exactly. It's a process. It's, it's totally different than, you know, like a collision repair shop. Yeah. Wow. Did you order the radiator? We've given them the plans, yes. Very cool. Yeah, we have two, three more brackets to make. One for the chill box, one for the water pump, and one for the dryer, and that's the it. The dryer? For the air conditioning. Dryer? Yeah, the dryer. You have condensation that builds up in an air conditioning system and it needs to... You, be dry. It needs to be dry, so that's what it does. I did not know that. <laughs> yes. Hey, buddy. What's up, buddy? Hey, buddy. You ready for me to show you that stuff? No, nah, I'm real. Right. Don't matter. You got enough film for today here. <laughs> Let me get a butt in. Right? <laughs> Gonna be a star of my own show. <laughs>